Hi, my name is Sarah De Silva Quintal, restoration ecologist with Buzzards Bay Coalition. Today, we are at Marsh Island in Fairhaven, Massachusetts. This is a 22 acre conservation property co-owned by Buzzards Bay Coalition and the Fairhaven Cushnet Land Preservation Trust. This site has the name Marsh Island in it, but for nearly a hundred years has been very little marsh habitat. The site, which juts out into New Bedford Harbor and the Cushnet River estuary, was historically filled with sand from navigational dredging in the harbor, going from the late 1930s until the early 1950s. Much of the surface out here was essentially beach sand for decades. Now what we're trying to do is bring back the salt marsh at this site. Since the 1800s, the estuary has had roughly 140 acres of salt marsh filled in along its edges for industry. This site presents the unique opportunity to bring back a significant portion of those lost coastal wetland resources. Here we have the ability to bring back another 11 acres of salt marsh. This site was originally protected from 2002 until 2007 using funding through the New Bedford Harbor Trustee Council. The ownership of the site will continue to be protected forever. And with that comes the opportunity to really restore some of those lost salt marsh resources and coastal habitats that are really critical to a functioning estuary. Over the course of the past year, the site has been under construction for the first phase of that salt marsh restoration. Last October, we had contractors um, with Luciano's Excavation out of Taunton mobilized to the site, and we have removed the filled sand that was placed over the original marsh surface out here restored the original tidal creek system in order to bring salt water back into the restored site. We've planted 60,000 plugs of marsh vegetation on the restored surface. And that work is now nearly complete. Over the restored site, we've also been installing recreational features, including an all access perimeter trail, a bridge over the restored creek and an overlook. The next phase of the project is phase two on the south half, which unfortunately is not yet ready to begin construction just yet, because um, there are two radio towers that are still uh, actively broadcasting signal. Once those two towers are relocated off the site, then we'll be able to dive back in and remove the remainder of that fill in order to restore another five acres of salt marsh on that site. The marsh surface itself is already uh, working how we had hoped. Every day we see the tidal exchange bringing in fish and crabs. We see the birds coming back in and roosting and foraging. And we have had our first successful pair of killdeer nesting on one of our marsh hummocks we constructed just this past year. So there have already been some successful fledglings from this site, which we're very excited about. Project partners that have been vital in the success of this project include the New Bedford Harbor Trustee Council with the NOAA Restoration Center as lead. We've also received significant support from the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation, and significant support has also come through the Massachusetts Division of Ecological Restoration.